We've had our robot lawnmower for two years. Was it worth the cost or one giant expensive mistake? Hey y'all, hey, it's Ashley Renee and welcome back to my sustainable lifestyle and tech channel. I regularly post videos about my smart home, my Tesla, and other topics related to sustainability. So if you're into that kind of thing, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on so that you never miss a new video. Today's video is all about my smart robot lawnmower. With a robot lawnmower, you in theory will never have to mow the lawn again because it'll do the work for you. Now, two years ago, we got the Husqvarna Automower 430X. I'm going to share the many pros of this device, but also one extremely huge drawback. First, the pros. It's quiet, it's weatherproof, it consumes less energy, and it has zero emissions, unlike gas-powered lawnmowers, which emit tons of toxic fumes up into the environment. Now, with regular lawnmowers, the grass clippings collect in a bag that you have to empty, but with a robot lawnmower, you don't need one. Instead of removing the clippings, they're mulched into these very fine pieces and are returned to the lawn. Because the clippings are so fine, they drop down to the soil level as nutrients to the soil before helping the grass grow. Now it made for a nice little addition to our arsenal of smart home technology. Much like our smart robot vacuum, this is a device that could automate by scheduling it to operate from our phone so it could run on its own. And because it's weatherproof, it did its thing every day, rain or shine, it didn't matter. It even has anti-theft technology to keep someone from running off with it while it's busy mowing the lawn. And for a while, it was great. My husband was able to sit back and relax and take lawn mowing off his list of things to do. Okay, so it is important to know how this works to determine if this will make sense for you. The robot lawnmower responds to a boundary wire that is set up around the perimeter of the lawn. So this boundary wire, it emits like an electromagnetic signal for limiting the operating area of the mower, which allows it to move just randomly within that boundary wire. So the system is simple. I mean, it's mostly reliable as long as that wire doesn't get cut. <laughs> Which brings me to the main thing that can go wrong for you like it did for us. So like I said, the boundary wire system is pretty straightforward. Um, you can loosely lay the wire out around your lawn on top of the grass or you can bury it. Now, so we have professionals come out and bury ours on three separate occasions. Why three, you may ask. The first time was for the initial installation. The second time, the wire got cut while we were having our lawn aerated. The third time, the wire got cut again for reasons we still don't know. Like, it's, it's a mystery to this day. Now, in some cases, a cut doesn't necessarily mean you have to rewire the entire perimeter. If it's just one cut, you might be able to get away with easily repairing it. But in our case, the wire was cut in numerous locations, making it necessary for us to pay for it to be rewired. And now, after doing some landscaping in our backyard earlier this week, the wire has now been cut again. <laughs> it may be an easy fix, but if not, we'll have to pay for someone to come out to rewire it for a fourth time. And these fixes are adding up. Okay, so if you're in the market for a robot lawnmower, by all means, okay, get one. They come with a lot of different benefits, but you should also know potential drawbacks before you do. And that's been one of ours. Really, it's the only complaint that we have. I mean, if it weren't for the wire getting cut several times, <laughs> then I'd have nothing but great things to say about it. So what about you? Is that something you think you can deal with or is it a deal breaker? Let me know your thoughts in a comment down below. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more smart home tech videos just like this headed your way. I'll catch you next week in a new video. And until then, stay green, y'all.